Hey guys, welcome in to the next video of, what is it? A Generator Picks My Next Series to read. It's been so long, I like don't even remember how to do these. This is part number three, I think, where last time, if you remember, I picked the long-awaited next book in the Bully series, which I have already started. I'm probably going to... I just lose my train of thought. I don't, my text pulled up on my laptop and just absolutely made me lose my train of thought. I saw Logan say we can pickle tomorrow and I was like, but that was from earlier and she's talking about pickleball. So I just need to, I need to center myself and like figure out what I'm doing. It's come to my attention and by come to my attention, I mean Logan pointed it out that I wear the same thing in every video, which I have, I have said in the past, but I thought I was getting better at it. So this top, I don't think you've ever seen. Don't look at my pants because you have seen those borderline too many times, but new top. So thank you. That's all that matters. I hope it was worth it. I hope it's really doing it for you. Okay, point of the video. Let me do one thing at a time. I don't need to even look at that yet. Last time, it was many moons ago, I picked Until You. I was not looking forward to it, so I didn't pick it up for literally weeks. But I picked it up because in the last video where Danny, our little new puppy, she's currently sleeping. She's taking a little nap in her crate. She picked this to be my book that I was reading that week. So I'm on page 268 out of 356. Oh my god. So I have like about a hundred left and I am liking it more than I thought I would. Like I'm embarrassed to say it. Why am I like kind of enjoying it? I don't know. All I can say is I haven't been able to put it down or okay I've been able to let me not that was way too high of praise. I haven't cared to put it down. Like I haven't been like, ugh, I need to take a break. When I have been like that with another book that I'm currently reading. So I think if this had a different cover, then it would be a game changer, okay? Put a cute cover on it, it would have been a game changer for my attitude going into this book. Also, it is, it's one of those books where it's the second book in the series, just told from the man's point of view. So I do know exactly what happens, how it ends, and everything. Now, granted, I read it like two years ago, like literally in the beginning of 2022, so it's not like fresh in my brain. So it does feel like some parts feel a little new, but I'm not hating it not hating it so it let's just say it will not be the lowest rated star lowest rated book of the year when i thought it was going to be down there like i was ready to skim through this and i haven't skimmed once actually so i'm gonna finish that tonight but since i'm going to probably you won't hear from me again tonight i'm gonna go ahead and pick my next book because i'm gonna do multiple in this video obviously oh my god i'm gonna get to check off a series that's so exciting because this is the last book i'm reading in that series Love that. Okay, so it was number five. We're taking that off. That is so exciting. We only have 12, 12, like one through 12 series on here. Obviously, I'm going to read them out to you. Oh, and one of them was Ruthless Vows, which I'm reading right now, which has taken me so fucking long to read. But that's going to get taken off too. Okay, so amazing, amazing. We have 11. Wait. Never mind. We're good. Okay, so I'm going to name them all again just because it has been so long. I know you need a little refresher. And if you're new here, I guess I'll explain. That would probably make the most sense to explain what I'm doing. I wrote down every series that was in the middle of because I have a really bad habit of just like reading one or two and being obsessed and then just like never picking it up again. Don't know why. This is my way of getting through series that I'm in the middle of. Um, that being said, since I've started this, I have started more series. So that's cool. And I honestly don't remember what they all are. So we're just going to stick with the original 1 through 11. And I'm going to read them off. The Family Remains, Two Twisted Crowns, Twisted Lies. It starts with us. Also, reminder, some of these I labeled them as the first of the series. Some of them I labeled them as what the book I'm on. So like The Family Remains is the second of the duology. Whereas Two Twisted Crowns, oh wait, that's also the second. Whereas Flawless is the first, and I've already read Flawless, so like just shut up. The Family Remains, Two Twisted Crowns, Twisted Lies, It Starts With Us, Flawless, The Addicted Series, Twilight, Once Upon a Broken Heart, Magnolia Parks, Harry Potter, and Part of Your World. Got it? Oh wait. You know, I wonder where, 
I want to know what the generator was for, that I used in the first video because I like that one the most. It was the cutest and the most fun, but that's not here anymore. Okay, let me pull this up. Also, I have to take my Emily Parks out because I'm in the middle of Daisy Hates for my Pride Month TBR. So that's also going to come out. Okay, but it's going to stay in the list for later because obviously that's only the second one. So technically, we're only picking from 10. Got it. Also, if you're new here, if it lands on Harry Potter, I'm most likely going to skip it because I can deal with it or get out. I just need to figure out how to make the wheel bigger and then we can start. I don't know if there's sound. We're going to hope there's a cute clicky sound. There's not. Cool. Can you see it? Did you see it? <laughs> We're just getting all the bad ones out of the way. Not bad, not bad. I'm sure it's a good book. <laughs> Did you see it though? In case you didn't see it, I'm gonna get it out and show it to you. I fucking hate this idea. God. Oh. All right, hold on. Are you ready for a jump scare? Why I didn't just read this when it came out, I don't fucking know. But now I have to read it. I don't, I don't even know why I bought this. I found it at Julia's. So I was like, oh, cool. Let me get it because I loved the first one so much. I did like the first one. In 2022, I liked the first one, okay? In January of 2022, in the beginning of my reading journey, when it was the literal like fourth book I'd ever read, I ate it up. <laughs> So let's see if these letters to Ellen DeGeneres can do it again for me. I am gonna rate it pretty harshly, I'm not gonna lie. But just in time for the movie. Okay, it will take a number off because it ends the duology. So like, I should be happy about that. It's a nice easy thing to get off and it checks off one of my physical TBRs. It's just not, it's gonna be a in one night type of thing again. Now that I have the next one ready, I'm gonna go ahead and finish until you and then I'll come back and talk about it. I don't know when that will be, but hopefully I can finish tonight since there's only like 100 pages left. Okay, I'm done. It's been like an hour and a half, I guess, since I was back on here. I do go into great detail about this book in my last video where Danny picked out what I was going to be reading because it was this book. So I'm not going to go into like super detail. I will just say that I liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to because I was, I was, you heard me last time I picked this. I was not looking forward to reading this. I ended up giving it a three and a half. I laid it on a three and a half. Um, and then anytime I think about the fact that they are 17 and 18, it bumps it back down to a three, but I've, I just tell myself to ignore that. So it's a three and a half. Just like thinking about Lynn Painter's books, they're the same age. <laughs> That's YA because there's no sex in those books. Just like the the difference in how I view like Lynn Painter's senior age characters versus Penelope Douglas senior age characters. Very different spectrums. I'm more on the enjoy this spectrum. I like the lighthearted fluffy Lynn Painter books every once in a while, but I do enjoy these a little more. Just like the older vibe, if you catch my drift. Anyways, very long story short for the plot, Jared and Tate grew up directly next to each other besties for life obsessed with each other at like 10 age 10 and up um he goes away for the summer deals with some shit with his dad like really hardcore shit he comes back and starts treating tate like they're the worst enemies ha that have ever landed on this earth literally just bullying the fuck out of her can't handle it anymore she ha he hates her she's starting to hate him but it's just a love that's like or it's a hatred that's like i love you so much type of hatred like you know he's obsessed with her like you know and then they ended up working it out and live happily ever after of course so now that i'm done with that i can check that number little number off my list and we get to start so excited we get to start it starts with us i don't want to this is two back to back that I don't wanna, but we'll see. Maybe it's the same as Until You. I didn't hate Until You, maybe I won't hate this. I think that I'm just like, I'm kind of over the massive amount of hate towards these books now because like, if this was two years ago, I would be quaking to read this. Like I would have already read it. The second it came out, I would have read it the first day. So like, I wish I could go back to that. It's just like, I feel like the reading community has put so much hatred on these books now that it's seeped into my bones. And I'm not talking about Colleen Hoover as an author. I get the whole thing with that. 
I'm not, I don't even want to touch that. I just mean this book in general with the whole like Ellen DeGeneres just keep swimming shit. Now that's like seeped into my brain. I'm like, I'm not looking forward to that at all. I honestly don't even really remember how It Ends With Us goes. And I wish I could just get like a quick recap, but let's fucking do it, I guess. Not once. Not We're in the middle of the readathon and I finished it. <laughs> what I would give to be able to be recording that. Logan shaking her square ass as much as she can, not in a cute twerky way. Yeah, like in a, in a way. side to side, gross, like disgusting my way. My knees are like stuck together, legs, <laughs> and she's no going like space. this. Ew. Okay, anyways. The last book that I picked was It Starts With Us. Me reading it is going to be in the readathon, so I'm obviously not going to put any of that into this video because I don't care. And I just finished it, so now I have to pick a new one. It's honestly better, better. It's better than I was expecting. <laughs> it's better than I was expecting. I literally went into this trying to read it as quickly as possible and just get it over with, and I actually gave it a four. I feel like it was a lot less focused on the romance and it was more on the mother-daughter, I guess that's a spoiler if I say that, but the children to adult ratio, ratio, children to adult relationships is what it more focused on. I don't, I honestly don't mind reading about Danny. I don't mind reading about children, I think. Danny, stop. I don't mind reading about children as much in books. I feel like that's something that I wouldn't like, but I actually think it. <laughs> Do you want me to put her up or not? No, she's gonna yell. I won't be able to okay, talk. Okay, then. You just have to I do just want- I want you to fucking sedate her, actually. <laughs> Books about children and, like, relationships with their parents is cute and sweet, and it makes me emotional. Okay. So, like, if you- I, <laughs> You can put her up. <laughs> if you take out the Dear Ellen shit and didn't- <laughs> I'm gonna- I'm gonna pummel you. I want to finish this fucking video right now. Get out of my way. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> if you told me this was a different author and didn't put in- I'm- I'm- I'm gonna punch you in the <laughs> face. You are making your way over here. Just, you step forward. Yeah, but I was I just needed a grip. If you told me this was not Colleen Hoover and you took out the Ellen DeGeneres letters, I would really like it and like believe you that this is like a normal romance book. So, that being said, it was better than I thought. Shut up about it four stars. All right. I'm not done. I you were done. You're in underwear. <laughs> I have to pick a new book. All right. My next options. Family Remains, Two Twisted Crowns, Twisted Lies. Oh, I can take it starts with this out. <laughs> Flawless Book 2 is what we're going to go. <laughs> the, the second in the Chestnut Spring series. What? You, you don't have it written down? I have Flawless written down. Okay. Addicted, which is Addicted After All is what I'm on. Twilight, which I'm I'm going to skip if I go, get that. Ballad of Never After. Oh, this is for the rainbow? No. What is this for? Generator. Picks my series that I'm in the middle of. Ah, got it. And I'm skipping Harry Potter as well. I'm getting enough of that on my TV right now. Oh, and Magnolia Parks can go on here. Do you like fandom on there? No. It could force you to read it. No. Got it. Okay. Who's ready? Are you ready? Oh, you Stinky's ready. ready. Period. Part of your world. That's an easy one. Part of your Copyright. Okay, so next book will be part of your world. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know when that will be completed, but <laughs> probably never. Probably never. <laughs> okay, I literally just finished the readathon, so don't look at my appearance. I swear to God. So I picked part of your world. Read it during the readathon, so I already finished it. Thank God. I literally read it all last night. Loved it. I put my entire review in the readathon, so if you want to see like super in depth about it, you can scroll to the very end of that. But I gave it a four and a half out of five, obviously. I'm tired, little than you I gave it a four and a half. I, every single time I'm surprised by how much I love Abby Jimenez books. Abby Jimenez's books. She just knows how to write them. The characters she writes are so funny. Male and female, every single time she writes a character, they're hilarious. The realistic aspects of relationships and like professional lives. She does a really good job of. This is Alexis, who's a part of like the really big top dog family at the Royam Hospital. Like chief of surgery, generational wealth, 
blah 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 and <laughs> she runs into and meets this guy in this little small town that he like basically runs it's like giving gilmore vibes gilmore girl vibes where like everyone knows everyone and like everyone helps out and that kind of thing they hit it off the chemistry is amazing she ends up traveling down there like every weekend to go see him but keeps it casual like says it's not going to be anything long term of course they fall in love like of course and then she's like, have you met my family? You have it because you're not going to because they're literally Satan and it's not going to work out between us. So it's like, it was heartbreaking watching them, the scenes of them that she wrote of them being like depressed after their breakup did me in. It like really, she just like captured the feeling of just absolute emptiness so well that it it was like a trauma, <laughs> a tra what was it, what's that called? Trauma response, but it was so good. So, 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 so good. But that's gonna be the last book of this video. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick for the next video. Who knows when that'll be because these are like months in between that I freaking finish these. All right, part of your world coming out. I'm not saying the list again. I'm so over saying the same list. Wait. <laughs> I just wanted to put the brightness all the way up. Hold on. Okay. <gasps> Please. I've been waiting for this book since we started. It's Once Upon a Broken Heart, which obviously not the first one. It's Ballad of Never After. I just, I don't, I didn't even like the first book that much, but I've been really in the mood to read it. And I was waiting for it to do it in this video. Everyone said the second one is their favorite. So I'm really excited to read the second one. Oh my God, I realized I'm in my bear shirt again. I was supposed to change out of this so you don't make fun of me again. We're making good progress though. We just got rid of three more. There's only nine on the list right now. I know there wasn't like as much reading vlog to this because two of the books are read in the readathon, but hopefully you liked the quicker paced, just going through them rapid fire. I don't know what the next one will be. I never know. I also don't know when it'll come out, but thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.